Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings and I'm back as promised after giving the dogs a walk. All right, my energy is high so I just wanted to come uh, and quickly do a reading for you guys, okay? So I'm going to start with, I'm going to use these, but I'm going to start with the Kipper. So I'm going to pull one card here from there. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Please, okay, I'm going to pull three from here. Please tell us what we need to know here in this reading. What is this reading about, Spirit? Holy Spirit, here's an angel. Please allow me the message here. For the Aries Collective. Okay. So we have number 33. It says concern. We have wealthy man, and that looked like it came in reverse, so. And we have occupation. Okay, let's pull a card from here. See what's going on with this energy for Aries. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. This is for Aries. We have temporary situation. Let's pull one. Uh, dealings or relationship with a man. We have that. And diamond. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Yeah. Okay. It's at the bottom. Oh, the rat's at the bottom. All right. Let's see here. What's going on here for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. This is for Aries. All right, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Let's see here for Aries. Passion. Passion. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't see two people here just yet, although the wealthy man, it's not gender specific. It could be a woman, it could be a man for you. I'm seeing twin flame here. I was getting a sense of a power couple type of energy, um, but we'll see. It could be people who meet at work or in the same industry, but I'm not sure yet. Let's see here. Give me one more here for Aries. What do we have here for Aries? Two females. These always come out together. So I wonder if this represents one person, different characteristics, right? Because these two always come out together. Um, socialite, connector, high society, uh, light hair, laid back, okay? These always come out together. So it could be two separate people, but I always feel like it's it's describing one person. At the bottom of the deck, we do have beauty, beauty queen, okay? All right, let's see here. This is for Aries. Yeah. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. What's going on here in this situation? Okay. Storm warning. Now, this makes sense with the concern card. Upheaval, obstacle, wrecking ball, and drama. Okay. I'm seeing ex-lover at the bottom of the deck. Give us two more here. Tell us what's going on in this situation for Aries. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Two more came out. Crossroads and wedding. Marriage forever, the one in union. And crossroads. Two doors are right there. Two doors. So it could be a choice between two, multiple options, turning point, and indecisive. So these could be two separate people. Hmm. Passion, chemistry. It's interesting because I'm seeing two women, one man. Okay. Um, you can switch that however you would like, but that is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a wealthy man. Occupation, again, this could be somebody that you meet at work or has a specialty. This wealthy man has a specialty, okay? Could be a boss, a lawyer, um, that just the one that just came to mind. Doesn't have to be a lawyer. It could be any type of businessman. Um, but there's concern here. 
dealings with a man, temporary situation, you were receiving a gift. Now this diamond could be a proposal, could definitely be a marriage proposal, could be any, but I mean, it comes with a gift. So that's the first proposal I would think of that comes with a gift. Could even be a proposal of doing business together. That could be how somebody meets somebody. Hmm. 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 Okay. I feel like I'm going to pull one more. I'm going to pull one more for him from here. Give us one more for this situation, Spirit. One more. All right. Thank you. That is what I needed to know. New love. It's a new person. New love. Honeymoon phase, childlike, moving on, being, uh, moving on, new beginning. Oh, and I was supposed to pull from here as well. As I split the deck, I see passion, family, healing, family issues. One more time. We're going to shuffle. All right, that's enough. What do we have here for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. What do we have here for Aries? passion and it came out again so you have passion twice emphasis heavy on the connection chemistry passionate feeling um allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so you know what type of passion that is <laughs> all right let's see here what else do we have here for aries i'm hearing irresistible chemistry dynamic fireworks words i'm hearing seeing fireworks now okay let your friends help you. Um, ask for and accept support from others. Codependency is an issue in this situation. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Give us one more here in this situation. Heart to heart conversations. This could be the one. Honestly, discuss your feelings uh, with each other. I kind of feel this whole story. Okay. Before I am even seeing the cards, I'm seeing and feeling this whole story. I'm just going to let the cards do the talking though. And, uh, if it confirms it, I'll let you know. All right. But I can almost feel and see this from the start to the beginning here. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's see. This is for Aries. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. This is a message here for Aries. What is happening here for Aries? What is this about for Aries? All right. All right. What is the situation for you, Aries? I'm seeing the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So this is already a little bit of confirmation here that there is possibly a choice between two people. But not in the way that I think you're thinking just yet. Hold on. Let's see here. What is the situation for Aries? Two cups. All right. There's a soulmate connection here. This could be a new one with the full energy here. Brand new. What we do see that new love. Okay. Two people who meet. They realize that there is chemistry. There's a connection. Um, you're kind of like the same person. Same person, maybe opposite sexes, maybe the same sex, but maybe opposite sex too. Um, yeah, there's a there's a bond, there's a friendship first, and then it turns into more. Okay, I honestly feel like this could be a situation where it starts as business business transaction because I'm seeing they're pointing to the wealthy man. It could be a business transaction. So what does that mean? I don't know. You could go to someone to do your taxes. You could go to someone for some sort of business advice, um, uh, business, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Consultant, um, anything. But I'm feeling like this could have started out, you could meet someone through a business situation, occupation. It could be at your job, um, Just, but I feel like it could be anything to do with your business, personal business. I don't know why I keep saying that. All right. What is the challenge here? There's confusion. There's mixed emotions. You're not sure if you're feeling what you're feeling. They're not sure if they're feeling what they're feeling. It could be a dangerous situation. Um, it could be temptation um, in the sense that maybe something is forbidden or off limits. But also it could be that a situation is divinely guided. Okay. We have the seven of cups here. I got all of that from the seven of cups. <laughs> all right. Tell me about uh, advice from spirit for Aries. It came right out. 
The Knight of Pentacles takes things slow, gradual, um, because so you don't get hurt. I, I will see why I'm saying that. Knight of Pentacles, take things slow. There, there's no warning of not to move forward, but it is saying caution um, as things grow and as things uh, build upon in a situation. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, and there could definitely be a lot of passion. Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands, a lot of passion, a lot of passionate communication. Even could be uh, we could go to sexting. Um, tell me about the outcome in the near future here. Advice for Aries. We have the nine of pentacles. Single and ready to mingle. Very abundant here. Doing very well financially for yourself. Okay, this is that pre-empress energy. Um, very good energy though. I'm seeing here for you, Aries. You're the single one. So I don't know, even if you're in a relationship now, you might not be then, or you, I don't know, let's see. It's coming up as very independent, very independent, um, takes care of oneself, very single is what I'm getting here. What is this talking about here, Spirit? Let's clarify the two of cups. Holy Spirit, where's the angels? Please allow me to get a message here for the Aries Collective. Okay, hearing star. Tell us about this Two of Cups. The World card, okay? I did see a card of travel. Could be meeting someone at a distance. Could meet someone, right? You meet someone with this Two of Cups energy. And when you meet, like, you're like, this is it, okay? Because the World card could be a card of success. It also could be a, ca a card of a cycle ending. All right, let's cover her boobs. This could be a card of a cycle ending here. Um, but it feels good. The energy I'm getting from this is good. So yeah, and look at that, the sun. That's why I'm feeling that. Um, now, keep in mind, this could be a business partnership. Like, will you find someone who is um, giving you business advice, financial advice, and that could be why it feels very good. You found somebody here to give you very good advice. Um, it's a great connection. Chemistry is good. And I'm talking business chemistry, uh, friendship, things like that is very good. Um, give us one more about the two of cups. And give us one more about the two of cups. Mm, but there's, there's something here. Tell me more about the Tell me more about the Two of Cups. Ten of Wands. Oof. Give me one more here about the Two of Cups. Six of Pentacles. See, the thing is, this is why this wealthy man came in reverse. I did see it come in reverse. Very charming. Very good at what they do. Um, okay, so Spirit was like, don't make them the bad guy just yet. <laughs> But there, but it's it's coming off that way. It's coming off because I got the seven of swords, I got the five of wands, and I got the ten of wands. It feels like meeting someone and the connection is good, whether it's business, whether it's platonic, whether it's just from the jump, you're like, this is romantic. So what I'm hearing is that. This is a type of situation where you meet someone and when you see them, it's like you walk into an office, you see someone and immediately, what do you do? You're human. You check them out. You're like, oh, they're good looking, but you're not there for that. You're there for business, right? So you push that thought to the back of your head, right? You push that thought to the back of the head of them being good looking, them being attractive and you, you go about your business. But even in doing the business with this person here, very attractive, very likable, very charming, um, but there's something here. Now, either someone is, tell me about the five of wands. Yeah, thank you very much. Someone here is, this is about fighting off feelings, fighting off emotions, um, trying to be respectable, okay? That's probably why spirits like, don't make them a bad guy yet, because I was about to go for the gusto, okay? <laughs> um, don't make them a bad guy yet. Fighting off feelings, fighting off emotions. And for the two of cups to come out, could this be a mutual thing, right? Where you both see each other, you're both keeping it a business situation and you're both 
trying to hide feelings, emotions. Um, okay. Because with these, okay, I'm going to show you what I got. So with the, we got the world card clarifying the two of cups, but then we got the seven of swords. Then we got the 10 of wands and then we got the five of wands. Someone, this right here alone makes me feel like someone is hiding something, um, whether it's feelings, thoughts, emotions, or a secret, and whatever they're hiding is very difficult. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's heavy. It's hard for them to hide it. Um, the five of wands can sometimes be competition. It could be drama. It could be, you know, it could be just your fighting very hard to hide something, fighting very, you see, this is a card of fighting, fighting very hard to hold, to hide something with the seven of swords, the 10 of wands here. And then I asked, well, what is, what are they hiding? Look what came out, the seven of cups, emotions, feelings, could be other options, but let's, let's keep it like, cause I keep getting this business thing. Let's keep it as if this is a business person you're doing business with, they're not hiding other people because you're not romantically involved, right? So this feels like feelings um, that they're hiding, emotions, how they feel about you. The, seven, the, the temperance card is letting you know they're trying to keep this these emotions that are scattered in balance, in check. Okay. So I am getting the sense of someone trying to be professional, trying to keep something professional. Okay. And then I got the six of pentacles. Why? They're doing business, business transactions. Um, I'm not taking that as a breadcrumbing card. It just feels like somebody, say it could have to do with money. Okay. In some sense, I don't know. So, so let's see here with the seven of cups, nine of pentacles. Somebody sees you and this could be vice versa. I keep getting it vice versa with the two of cups here. Very attractive. Now, this is a card of independence. This is a card of beauty as well. This is a card of somebody who takes care of themselves. So when somebody, you walk in the room, you just have that aura about you that you take care of yourself. You exercise, you drink a lot of water, you keep up your beauty regimens, whatever those may be for you, because everybody's are different. You are, you, you're, 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 you're well kept in the sense, and you don't have to be rich to be well kept. You just take care of yourself, right? And I feel like that is kind of like um, a turn on to someone, right? It's just like, and let me let me just say this: when you have the nine of pentacles here, nine of pentacles energy is no one looking for love. Okay, they're just independent and happy, being independent and single and doing them and looking good and having fun. That's usually what attracts someone or people to them. Maybe even a lot of people because they're not looking for it. But I'm seeing here with the seven of cups here, somebody is curious about someone in this energy. Could be this wealthy man, could be you to this wealthy man or wealthy woman, right? Clarify the seven of cups one more time. Yeah. Queen of pentacles. And this is the ultimate, I take care of myself card. Okay. This is, I take care of myself and I possibly take care of others too. Maybe children, uh, maybe my family, uh, maybe my parents. I I'm, I'm doing good for myself and I take care of myself and I have enough to give to others. So thank you for clarifying that for me. Spirit queen of pentacles is clarifying the nine of pentacles. Um, so very well. Okay. Tell us about the nine of pentacles as advice from spirit. Wow. So look at this Knight of Pentacles, the justice card, like these actually came out like this when it fell on the desk, it was like this. And so I had to slide it and it was like that. It was like, spirits like, well, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to tell you what I, this is what I was thinking in the beginning. This is kind of what this feels like. This feels like two people meet right? Under the pretenses that it's, it's just a business something. You may walk into the bank and meet someone. You could walk into um, a real estate office and meet someone. You could, this could be a business thing and do, and there's some sort of sparks that fly. There's some sort of chemistry that arises uh, on both sides. It's instant, right? With the passion coming out twice, this is like an instant type of chemistry type of thing. All right. Uh, there is no denying it. All right. The, it's funny how this peaked out like this, because this is what I I was thinking somebody is married. Yep. Somebody's married. Somebody's married. Somebody's in a marriage. Somebody's in a marriage or a long-term commitment. Now, the thing that I'm getting though, with this justice card, and this is kind of like spirit saying, do the right thing. Um, it feels like 
this with the codependency card, the connection that could be, um, the marriage could be over. Okay. That's what I was getting before I got any tarot out that the relationship or the marriage, whoever is married, it is almost over. So they could be going through a divorce. They could be going through legal things, situation separations. They could already be separated, but there is a sense of a toxicity um, in that connection. So let's just say they're divorcing. They know the person you met knows they don't want to be with that person anymore. Uh, but this other person who they were connected to has some sort of manipulation over them. They have some sort of toxic situation, right? So it's done, but it's not really done. Hence why spirit is telling you to slow your roll, Knight of Pentacles. Like you can investigate, all right? You can investigate. You can kind of, you know, maybe even date because for spirit to give you the green light to move forward on it, it does feel like the uh, situation is supposed to be over um, and you are moving towards a good thing, all right? Now, this person who has the situation and the baggage, they're not a bad person, okay? I think they're connected to someone full of a lot of drama. Trauma, and they might not tell you that, okay? Um, because the sun is here. So what you're moving towards is, is, is going to feel good for you. It's going to be happy. It's going to be positive, the connection between you and this person. But they got things going on, okay? So hence the justice card here. Like, let's clarify this justice card. Clarify the justice card. The strength, yep, yeah, holding back, waiting until something is done. I feel like it's a divorce. Tell me about the justice. Yep, five of swords. And just somebody being downright manipulative, right? Now, this could be your situation, Aries, right? You could be the one going through divorce and the person that you're divorcing is not wanting to let go of you, um, is being dishonest. Maybe they're dragging out the divorce. Maybe they're, you know, and you meet someone and spirit is actually telling you to kind of like, yeah, you met someone, but if it's not like, if it's not a situation where you and the ex, right? Even though y'all are still married, ex, if the ex is not in agreement that you can see other people, then I feel like the ex could use this as leverage, right? They could like renege and be like, uh-uh, we're still married. Da -da -da -da. You know what I'm saying? But if this is not you who's married and it's the other person who's married, right? Spirit is asking you to hold back, hold those urges back, okay? With the strength card here and let this have, let do the things, do, do the right thing. Okay, I can't even say it. Do the right thing. I'm not saying it's wrong to because I'm there's just no judgment. I'm not I'm not judging anybody. Um, there's no judgment on my part whether you go forward within the relationship with this person that you meet, anyways, and you're in a relationship, that's on you. But there's something here about balance and karma. Okay. Um I feel like it's not more of a oh, if you do this, it'll come back to you type of thing. I think it's more of a karmic situation. So if you involve yourself in something that has not fully played out yet, you can find yourself in the crossfire, okay? Uh, reaping some sort of karma that is not even yours to engage in. Like you're gonna create lessons for yourself that you don't need to. So if you can be patient, because honestly, honestly, this is the thing here that is showing up over here. I feel like the person that you have this chemistry with is patient, okay? I think they see a good thing in you and they're like, their mindset is, I'm going to wait till what I have going on is finished before I come forward and express my emotions to Aries because they're wanting to start something new with a clean slate, which is very good. Now, let me talk to my impulsive very passionate, very sexual, um, Aries. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not sure what sign that person is, but I know an Aries. Okay. Cause I am one, you see something that is a very good thing and it's dynamite, right? Those, that passion starts to flare. We are very sexual beings. Okay. Just can't deny it. Um, it would be in your best interest to practice other ways, okay, to um, get that energy, that sexual energy out. Because I do feel like there will become a time where you guys might be together, okay? Um, but I feel like, and this is just my own intuition, Knight of Cups here, energy, I just feel like that 
moving too fast could possibly ruin something. See the emperor is coming out. Knight of Cups and the emperor. You have romantic feelings, but spirit is kind of saying, ground yourself. Get in control of that, okay? Um, you see temptation, the devil. This is sexual temptation. You could go for it and you could give into those sexual urges. I honestly feel that the road would be easier for you if you waited. Now you could do whatever you want to do. Seven of Pentacles here. Wait, I feel that the road would be easier. I don't know. I just feel like it's an energetic thing. I feel like it's a karmic thing. Um, I feel like, I don't know, like either way, it's not, I'm not saying it's going to ruin the connection if you jump for it. Look what fell out. This just fell out. The lovers fell right on top of the sun. So it's a very, very dynamic, very, very strong soulmate connection. So would I blame you if you didn't wait? No, because this is very intense. Okay. Very intense and very beautiful. Very beautiful. I might add, um, the justice card is kind of making me think here. This is something that you do deserve. Everybody's coming with baggage. And if you tell me you're not coming with baggage, I'm gonna tell you your damn lie. Okay. Um, maybe not the type of baggage that they're coming with, <laughs> but I'm sure you've got some emotional stuff going on. Um, you know, this is a situation here where I do feel like this person is doing the right thing. They're not hiding or lying about their situation. I think they are holding back on their feelings for you because, I mean, I just, I think there's a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry here. The tent here lets me know this is a temporary situation. So it will, whatever they have going on, it will close out. Okay. It will close out. Um, there's crossroads, choice, multiple options, turning point. Okay. But the storm warning here says obstacle. Okay. Drama. It's kind of like me. It almost feels like you don't want whoever their ex is to even know your name, right? Because if they do, it's just unnecessary drama. Let them think that because you know how you know how some people are. It's like they're divorcing, right? They're going their separate ways. But the minute that the ex gets a whiff that they have someone new, oh hell no. You know what I'm saying? I want my man back, I want my woman back, or they're just making life hell, right? They're just gonna make life hell for that person. So I think this businessman, businesswoman, whoever it is, knows this. Uh, they know, obviously they know their ex, they know their person, they know their ex person, right? So, um, yeah, I think that you should kind of just hold on a second. <laughs> I think you just hold on a second. That's just my advice. And I think that's what spirit is saying here too. So the nine of pentacles, the knight of cups and the, um, emperor here is in the outcome and the devil, excuse me, and the devil. So really kind of, uh, keeping these sexual urges under control is what they're saying. Yes, there could be some romance, right? But kind of maybe even staying single until that is done. Got us one more card. Yeah, wow. This is your divine counterpart. I think it would be worth the wait with the empress here and the and the and the emperor. It would be worth the wait. I do. Because I feel like once you get that situation out the way, it's, it'll be pretty much smooth sailing for you. Now, let me tell you my opinion. Do I think you're going to wait? No, absolutely not. I don't think you are. So that will probably be a part. <laughs> That'll be a whole nother reading. Do I think you're going to wait? Probably not. <laughs> okay. That's a whole nother reading. But this is wishful thinking that maybe you can wait. Um because again, at the bottom of the deck, you got this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner. You see, you might not have met them yet, but it's coming. This could be the one. You got true love. You got religious factors. Religious factors is like the lover's card, which came out here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path, more so your spiritual path. I feel like you guys are connected. Maybe here with the let your friends help you, maybe you meet through friends. Maybe your friends are giving you advice on this. And in this case, um, maybe you should listen. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Take care. Bye.